Welcome back to Fitness Wealth. You're awesome for tuning in. This week, we talked to Zay and Ellie about the importance of getting financially naked with your partner. So let's lock in and learn. What's up, everybody? This is Debt Free and Fitness, and this is how they money. Oh, yeah. Hey. Um, so we got engaged and that's really what made us start in our financial journey. We got married four days ago and when we got engaged, we really realized that we're not only conjoining our life, but we're conjoining our money as well. So we wanted to make sure that we entered into our lives together with a good financial foot forward. And we were already in a pretty good position, but when we really got financially naked with each other on where we were money-wise, we realized we had things to accomplish, and that's really what jump-started this money journey. Do you wanna add? No, I think you hit the nail on the head. <laughs> that's really what it was, is when I asked her to be my wife, um, from a male's perspective, uh, I know for a male it's very hard for us to let um, our egos down and to really come clean with our financial history. And so once I realized that this was gonna be the person that I spend my life with, uh, like she said, we had to get financially naked. So that's what really kicked everything off. So that's a great question. I think our number one money hack would probably be? Um, I think our number one money hack is meal prepping and grocery shopping. Um, I work with a lot of people who every day they're like, what am I doing for lunch? What am I doing for dinner? And they're spending so much more than they have to just because they didn't plan appropriately. Um, so kind of even bigger than just the food piece, planning, yes. I'm changing our answer, planning is our biggest money hack because even when we look at our budget for the month and for the year, we have a plan and we're intentional even with where our extra money is going to go. So I think planning is our biggest money hack and then with that plan, it's able to give us extra money in our budget because we are intentional of what we're doing. Got it. So some of our inspiration, our inspiration and influence in this space, we're gonna start with the couples first. So we wanna give a big shout out to His and Her Money, so Ty and Talit McNeely. I'd say we also wanna give a big shout out to Our Rich Journey. Uh, we would also say Rich and Regular, uh, Kirsten and Julian, and then to you know uh, wrap it up, we definitely say Black Married and Debt Free. We love Marcus and uh, his wife Shira. As far as individually, uh, we love Cindy over at Zero Base Budget, great content. Uh, we love uh, Poise Lifestyle, uh, she puts out great content, and then uh, of course we got to shout out our girl Carmen at Make Real Sense. So I would say that we don't spend extravagantly really on anything, but that allows us to do everything. So just kind of to explain a little more, um, we love like to travel and we've been able to go to a lot of different places because we book our trips on Groupon. So I wouldn't say we spend extravagantly on the trip because we do it in a budget friendly way, but we get to go on all these amazing trips and then when we're there, we don't feel bad about going to do a little more extravagant things there like a nice restaurant or a more expensive excursion because we've saved money on the front end with that. So I think Everything we do, we keep being frugal in mind because that's just who we are as people, but that allows us to do everything without feeling like we like cut out certain parts of our life. But what I would add to that is, if we did have to pick one, it would <laughs> definitely be travel. Yeah. Um, as she said, it's definitely travel. Um, the best advice that I ever received was just being be frugal, so I mean, that's not, really like a quote of advice, but I grew up in a very frugal household where it was okay, I can either buy this you know, latte or that's $3 I can put towards a shirt and I prefer a shirt. So just being aware of where my money's going and you know, knowing what the trade off is on spending on this versus having it for that, that's kind of been the best, best uh, mindset piece that I received in terms of a lesson with money. And then for me personally, even though I am a victim and I didn't necessarily start as early as I should have, but the best advice is definitely start early and start now. Mm -hmm. um, I can't stress how important it is that you do start now and start early. People uh, love to say, oh, you're young, you have time. However, time is our best friend and we need to use it oh, correctly. Uh, and so the advice, the best advice I've ever received has definitely been um, start now and start early. 
Who? Great question. So I would be interested in seeing how Mike from Fitness Wealth Monies, of course, uh, and then uh, I would love to see how uh, Jeremy from Personal Finance Club uh, Monies, you know, he is someone that uh, retired super young uh, with a high net worth. Uh, I would love to see if there was an opportunity to see how our rich journey monies. Uh, they just recently hit fire at 39 and 41, so just understanding how they money would be awesome. Uh, and then ultimately, I think that, that those would be definitely the two people I would love to hear how they money. So what Ooh, are we up to? What are we up to? So uh, I would say FinCon, let me just start by saying FinCon was by far one of the best conferences we've been to. Um, we came here with an open mind to really help us learn where we wanted to take our business. So what we will be up to now after this conference is, is that we have definitely learned um, who our target audience is. And so our next step is that we will be releasing uh, or coming out with a YouTube channel uh, and then ultimately from there, it's just expanding and growing. Um, hopefully we would love to get into um, some type of digital courses, uh, but that's pretty much what we're up to right now. You can find us on Instagram at debtfreeandfitness underscore, <laughs> and then on our blog at debtfreeandfitness.com. That was the power couple, Debt Free and Fitness, sharing how they money. Click the thumbs up and high five that subscribe. Let me know what you guys think down below. And lastly, check out these other interviews from How You Money.